guys, welcome back to the craft cabin. We are going to be doing our loaf making. I know it's like a week late, but um, uh, time ran away with me, okay? Life happens. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna quickly open this and show you everything that we got inside. Um, I have already opened it and used something because I needed to the other day, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, which is this, it's like a, um, it's a soap cutter basically, and it's really useful for cutting up soap, <laughs> obviously. Um, so yeah, this is a DIY make your own soap mould making kit. You make it, you use it, and you love it, that's what it says right there. And this is from, I don't know, I ordered it from Amazon, but it is, it's, it's made in China, like most things. Doesn't say the company though. So, we have another cutter, which is a crinkly one. So if you want like lines down to make it look a bit special, because instead of like a straight one depends if you're straight or crinkly really there is a difference <laughs> um i do also have this as well which um you have to set the wire up oh no there is one set up but um there are two spare wires which is always a bonus because if you use the wire and it gets like blunt or something i guess does wire get blunt I don't know but if it gets blunt <laughs> um, then you have two spare ones or if you want to do it I guess um, you have different soaps you want to cut at the same time then you can do it differently I don't know I'm probably just talking out my butt <laughs> um, then you get you get lots of shredded tissue paper um, <laughs> You get like a measuring um, soap thing and then by the look of it, you undo this there, and then you can move it and then you can put your slices however thick you want them. Ooh, you can get them thick. So yeah, you can have them however thick you like, up to eight centimetres by the look of it. More tissue. It's just going everywhere. Um, I would say that the wood is fraying a little bit in the middle. I don't know if you can see, but um, yeah, that's okay. I mean, it just means that it won't, it's a bit jiggity jaggedy, I guess, when you're trying to move it. So anyway, we won't need that right now anyway. <laughs> we, we will need that um, at the end for when we cut it. If I want to use that, that is. That's. I think that I'm assuming that's for this. Or if you want to get a specific size, then you can use the slicey things. I got two little round soap moulds with little flowers or clovers on the top, which look cool. So maybe I might make those as well today. And then this is, this is the main thing of it. You get, I can get in you get the lid so obviously no dust goes on the top of your soap because dust with soap is never a good thing you're not really getting clean if you've got dust um we've got a lovely silicone mold which is purple although i prefer pink ones pink ones are the best um so yeah so obviously you can once it's set you can take it out really easily of the um thing but it has got a wooden box to keep its shape which is always a bonus i think so i'm going to give this a wipe over and i will see you in the next few in a moment check you back soon
So you've just seen me make the soap, um, so it's been a whole day later because um, when I went to take it out the mould yesterday it was quite um, warm still and I didn't want to risk the soap not setting because it was still warm. So um, that's what we're going to do today, we are going to jump right in and demould the loaf mould and the teddy bears and stuff and see how it looks. So fingers crossed they look okay and that our little experiment has been a success. <laughs> oh, wish us luck guys. <laughs> so guys, I've just put some paper down because I just realized I've got nothing to protect the, the surface. So, um, and I don't want to obviously get anything from the surface onto the soap. So let's, I mean, we know what these ones look like. So let's get these ones out first and hopefully they've turned out the same. And yes, they have, look, they're both, they are all gold and red, which is brilliant and just what we wanted. Now this one hasn't got as much red in it because that was the last one I poured, so it's, it's, it's like a feeble, a feeble teddy bear. <laughs> oh, perfect. These ones are, have all come out really, really well. Look at them. That one's a little snoozing bear. Snoozing, snoozing bear. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. That's a little, little teddies. These are so cute, guys, and are going to look so cool in the little packs that we've got. That I'm going to do anyway. 
so yeah i'm hoping that they are going to just turn out oh they're so cute i mean you could give them all little names if you wanted to couldn't you because it's a soap so these are these other ones that we got i did unmold one yesterday because i was too eager to see it and i really wanted to make sure that it looked okay but look at it it's got the little flower indentation on the top or leaf maybe it's like a clover leaf or something but it looks so cool there we go another one there they're so cool i love them so they are all the smaller ones unmolded so um let's check out this big one i've never got this out before so uh we are on a big learning thing oh ah so like yesterday you saw me i don't know if, if i kept it in but um i got all the froth away from the from this this the setting it because it, it makes this sort of a skin and it, it's oh it's just oh just just doesn't look nice oh look at that it come out really easily um so let's i don't know why there was a hair at the bottom <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at this. So, how are we gonna do? Oh my God. I mean, I could have done some more red, but um, it was already, it's, it's already quite full. I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, you can see how full it is. There's not too much um, gap, but at the same time, I'm, uh, I wonder how we can do this. Oh, like that. That's how. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, look at that. Guys, that is proper. Ah, proper Gryffindor soap. Look at that. And you can see, look, the proper layers, the gold and the red. Oh my gosh, guys. It looks fantastic. So, um, where's the other bit? <sighs> this bit. So, I'm believe if I am thinking right, you put this bit here, and they're like that, because then there's like, there's two bits, like if you want to, that's for the thicker slices, so I think, if I put it at like, what? So there, so it's like two centimetres. So let's turn this. So it's there. And we'll try this wire one first um, and see how it goes. I've never used this before. Um, you know, I'm a complete novice to all this. Um, I really am, I, I won't lie. <laughs> um, oh, it's quite, it's like uh, really taut. So I'm assuming that to cut this here, let me just stand up maybe, that you just, what? You just slide it maybe? I'm kind of zigzagging it because so I don't want to use it like a saw so I'm just lifting the ends oh you can't see it <laughs> so I'm just kind of lifting the ends up and down because it's not really doing much of a job <laughs> I don't know I don't know what what you're supposed to do It's definitely not all the way down there at the bottom yet. Maybe if I turn it, I can Let's push it forward. Because although it's tight, it's not really cutting properly. 
Maybe I should have like read the instructions. <laughs> I don't. Let me have a look and see what they say. Tighten. Pass one end of. Tighten the screw on the handle. It just says to push it down. I don't know. It's very confusing. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just... So I'm just literally, I'm just pushing it down like it's saying. It's nearly there. It's nearly at the bottom. I just gotta get this last little bit. <laughs> so funny guys. Me? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, it's stuck now. Oh my god. What, what, what on earth am I doing? Ooh. So I'm just trying to get comfortable. So you can still see, but so I'm comfortable too. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, maybe that. No, but it hasn't gone right to the end and I can't lift it up either. Let's see what we can do <laughs> with this because it's definitely not working. Oh, so, well, this is out okay. I need to put my hair up, really. I'll do that in a minute, but... It's kind of so the bottom bit is just not cut so let me finish it off with this bit because I I know that that bit cuts so yeah it wasn't the nicest slice as you can see so yeah as you can see the slices came okay I mean, it's it, you can see the definite layers of the two soaps, of the two halves that I did together. But that wire, it kind of actually, it didn't cut it too well, actually. I'm not sure I would use that one again. Because I had to, I've just had to scrape off some excess because it just looked terrible. So for the next one, we're going to put it back in here. But we're going to do it from this one because I think because it's the bigger one we'll put it at two centimeters again it keeps turning I mean <laughs> but yeah so I only had to finish the bottom bit off with this one so we'll do a full slice with this one and then we'll do a full slice with the, the the crinkle one and we'll see which one is the best slice. So and we know that we can just push this down. And that has sliced it really, really well. So I'll move that backwards. Oh my god, yeah, it's like a perfect it's perfect. So perfect slice there of soap and it's it's done it really really well. So we'll put it back there. I mean there is a it's a little bit wedgy but so we'll try this one next. Oh, oh, I like that one. That one would, I would say, is the best. Oh my gosh, look at the effect it gives. Look at the crinkle effect. Oh, I love that one. I love it. I think I'm going to finish them off with the crinkle one. Because it's just perfect and it cuts so easily. Oh, it's just beautiful and so, so quick. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's amazing. It smells so strawberry too. 
So obviously I wanted red scent because, um, well not a red scent, but a scent that you would recognise as red. So I went with strawberry and it is, it's just come out so perfectly and it smells amazing. So I will be back with you guys once I have finished cutting this. Um, as you saw, I think that they have all come out. Hey, Luna. <laughs> I think that they've all come out really well. Um, I wouldn't recommend cutting with this. Um, I'm a beginner and I'm not sure I'm the smartest person in the world, but um, I couldn't figure out how to get the bottom bit done. I was trying to push both ends and it took jiggling and it gave the worst, um, worst, cut of the of the three i used i actually even had to finish it with the straight cutter um because this one just wasn't going all the way down to the bottom and i couldn't get it to go anymore um the finish it left was you could see where i'd had to go like this with it and it just wasn't nice so this one i don't think i will be using again unless i get a a, a lesson on how to use it properly maybe um or if I go onto YouTube and try and find a video that would teach me how to do it. But me personally, I would not say I like that at all. Um, we did one with the straight cutter and I really like the straight cutter. Um, I know it works, it's perfect and it it does its job, you know? It's a bit dirty because it's got all the soap on it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but, I, oh look, it's even foaming. <laughs> um yeah so this one i know works so i would definitely use this one again because um it it just simply does a nice straight edge cut and it is perfect so if you just wanted a straight soap it's perfect it's absolutely perfect for what you need to do i would definitely choose this over um this one because this one definitely does what it says it's going to do now the last one is my favorite as you saw i finished it off i finished cutting the soap with this one it's perfect it's really it's nice and sharp well not it's not too sharp because obviously you can touch it but it goes through the soap like it's butter and it gives off this lovely crinkly effect i will show you all three effects in a minute um but it gives off this lovely crinkly effect and as you can see, it's just so, it just gives it a little something extra. Not that this soap needs it because it's Gryffindor soap and Gryffindors are the best. Um, comment below which house you're in for Harry Potter because you know here we are Harry Potter mad. And I am a Gryffindor. Um, I think the next colour we're going to do is Slytherin, I think, or Hufflepuff, I think someone said. Um but yeah so as you can see this is the um it's got a half crinkle cut but this is like the half of the one where it was just a straight edge cut and it's just perfect um it it just cut it so perfectly here you go here's the I couldn't find it was right at the bottom um so yeah it's just it cut it so lovely um and there's just no no uh, lines or anything on there to deter you from using that particular cutter that's the, the square cutter and as you saw i mean the crinkly one is my favorite it really is <laughs> i just did the rest of it with that so um I, what i'll do is i'll put some stills up um and do like a little video montage of the soap um all cut up um but yeah let me know down below which one your favorite cut was um as you know as mine is the crinkle cut um and if you know how to use the string cutter please let me know in the comments as well because i am a complete noob to all this so 
any help would be grateful <laughs> um i know this video is a little bit late coming out um because it was supposed to be the last video of january but um i got really busy with life <laughs> i um i had some stuff going on at home and i needed to get it sorted so um hopefully you won't mind being a little bit late um thank you all to my patrons for making all this possible their names are on the screen right now um you guys are amazing and you have just like helped fund like all the different videos because the next lot of videos we're going to do candle making um to see what we can do with those um and yeah so thank you all so so much um this is the last soap video for now i mean we, we might do another one at some point because i am actually quite addicted to it i love it it's really cool um but yeah let me know down below which is your favorite cut what harry potter house you're in and whether you liked the soaps um if you're not already make sure you're following me on instagram and facebook i have the craft cabin um page on facebook um and my instagram is curvy Catherine uk um that's more my like sort of like my modeling one um i have got a curvy's creations for instagram as well but i haven't posted on it for a little while um i don't know why i keep saying um as well i <laughs> But yeah, so guys, please make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and get all your notifications so you can join part of my curvy crew. And join the cabin experience because the craft cabin is amazing. <laughs> it just keeps, it, it's good for your mental health to get crafty and I think it's definitely helped me. So hopefully it will help you watching me make all this stuff and hopefully you'll be inspired to do some yourself. Um, I will catch you all next time and I'll um, check back with you soon, guys. Mwah. Bye!